Hey, how's it going, everybody? Midweek war attacks. We've got the last installment of Minion Wars, and we're we're struggling. This team is even tougher than the one that we faced last week. I forget what their global ranking was, like twenty seven or something like that. But it was higher than the last team we faced, and after a five win streak, and I want to say like uh. 10 wins out of the last 12 or 13 games. Um, our streak might be coming to an end here. I think we're due a loss. So uh, you can see a lot of top scores from their team. I'm going to try to swoop in and steal that top spot because I find that <laughs> enjoyable. Um, so we've got this team here. Not super dangerous. It's really about putting down kill hair. Let me reserve this. It's really about putting down kill hair, watching out for Frigg, um, and that's about it. So if we can take out kill hair, then we're already in a good position because then it's just countering Frigg. Marjana could cause some problems there. Uh, Vela is not really much of a concern since I bring uh, various types of uh, cleanse with me. So... I'm kind of undecided what to bring here. I'm tempted to go with my yellow team because that would put kill hair down not super easily. 904 is actually pretty solid. Um, other than that, I usually stack the flanks. I don't think I want to go red. Um, don't want to go purple. So I'm thinking yellow could allow me to take out kill hair. Hopefully... Um, and then that team really packs a punch so I could take out, you know, the left side or the right side after that and, and be in a good spot. So I think I'm going to go for that. Um, hopefully the, uh, luck holds together there since we're a little bit reliant on that. This team is risky because of Gazelle being a weakness, and now she's getting a bit dated in her stats, where if she was up like around 900 defense, that would be okay. She would be uh, just about there with a limit break, which is appealing to me because she's such an awesome, awesome hero, but um, I don't know, undecided on that. Um, so yeah, here's what I'm thinking. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Okay. That's a pretty good start. So I've got two yellow matches. I've got a good amount of purples, which is not too helpful, but I'm thinking that I want to make this blue match here. Drag this to the left. That will give me four yellow tile tiles. <laughs> four yellow tires into kill hair. Um, and then I have the dragon bomb follow up with some purples. That should, uh, five tiles should definitely be enough to kill her. So it involves charging up Frigg a little bit or we get the diamond. That's also a possibility. So we'll take those four tires um, do this. I don't think there's any risk of cascade with that. And we're not charged. So I did something wrong here. All right. Is one tile going to kill her? I think, yes, she may revive. She did not revive. Okay. So we'll take out this side. Even though Marjana might dodge or evade. That should do it. Okay, now we're in a great spot. And then Vela will do nothing when she hits us. Or a little bit of damage, but not much overall. Nope. She's not going to fire, so we will take that damage. Mm. 
Okay, there we go. All right, that's the power of that team. If I can get the safety of it going. Okay, so oh, they're pretty dedicated for the most part about their green and yellow flanks. Actually, that's not true. Just the first ones I looked at all had that. Okay, so the next place I want to go is here. Uh, this is quite a dangerous team. I think what I'll do... So it's really the center three with Ludwig that is a big threat. Um, I'm not really sure how I want to approach this. I'm considering taking my red-purple team um, just because of how resilient it is. It also gives me um, tiles stacked against Frigg. Wolfgang is a bit of a threat here because he's got that health boosting thing. And then we've got Milena. Probably won't do much, but there's always the risk. And Elizabeth. Uh, quite high team power. So I don't believe I have more yellows that I would want to use on one team. It would be smart to have some dispelling here. Um, Cause I could just go like for a Scotty team here. That, nah, he's got that mana boost that wouldn't allow me to slow it down enough. But if I could take out Frigg. Hmm. With reds. So I really want a Dispel here, I think. Or even having, um, what's his name? Onyx to do the immune to buffs. So that if I can get nine tiles before, um, before Ludwig goes off, then I can just block all of those buffs that they're relying on in the middle. Uh, the taunt, the mana boost, the health boost, the damage reduction. So... Might be a good reason to go with a purple team. So let me see what that might look like. So if I'm bringing Onyx, I could bring my own Ludwig. <laughs> that might not be the best plan. Um, Onyx, and then I was thinking maybe... Sergey and Regard. It's a decently powerful purple stack. Not the best tile damage. It's his passive again. Ugh. Crappy. So yeah, this is pretty reliant on Onyx or just purple tiles. Um, hmm. I could also use... I could do Onyx and the Hatter. Because if I could dispel first, those would be some pretty awesome buffs to steal. Um, and then who would I use with the Hatter? Okay, let's see what this might look like. So... Sergey, Regard... Onyx. It's definitely going to say target not found. And then I could do something like this. This is a weird team for me, though. Um, just do that, that. He's pretty stout. It'd be mainly about blocking the buffs. would be pretty awesome um, if I could dispel Ludwig with just two purple tiles then with three greens I could steal those buffs got two healers but okay let's say I'm gonna have to choose this team again it's gonna say target not found but let's say things don't go as I want he fires now I've got Frigg with defense down and Wolfgang hitting quite hard. So maybe it's 
better to lean on that dispel and go with something like this. So I've got another, hmm, or um, so that gives me defense down, cleanse, spreads the damage out a lot. I think maybe I'd want to go with Sif instead and that healer. Zuri, that kind of disrupts my other team that I normally use with Sif. But I could use Micah there instead. So what do I think about this? I think I'm willing to try it. I've got a very pow powerful healer. I've got this damage reduction and the repost will really hurt those guys as they are trying to hit me nonstop. So let's give this a try. This could go down in flames, but well, let's give it a go. Um, if you think this team was ill-conceived, let me know in the comments. To me, it seems pretty good, but I'm curious what you guys think. Um... So yeah, it's just that one dispel, but I kind of might be able to make do either way. All right, let's see how it goes. Oof. Yikes. Three purples. About as far apart as possible. Ah, shit. Well, we gotta try to get some combos going. All right, there's one match. Uh, Ludwig is already halfway charged. So we can block the taunt if I can get one more match, but we would need two matches to be able to block the gained mana buff that they're otherwise going to get. Oof. And we've got no yellows matched. This is looking pretty bad. Oh, shit. And there he is with his increased defense, getting ready to fire, and here I am with practically nothing. So I can do the suggested match. It'll give me some yellows. It'll give me a chance at a purple match into Ludwig, which will only be enough to dispel him. I could do the yellow blue on the left, which could give me more yellows, could give me purples. I don't really have a lot of options here. Other than that, I just have that red match at the top, which is not very good. So I think let's avoid Ludwig for a minute. Oh God. All right, I do have the purple match. Oh, fuck. So... Uh, so I can block the taunt on Ludwig, or I can block the mana effect on either of those two. I don't know if that's a better move. Probably better to block the taunt, though that means I'm going to get hit real hard with Frigg and then Wolfgang very shortly after. So if I make the red match at the top, it gives me a small chance at a yellow diamond, which would be helpful. It still might not even be enough. This has been a bad start here. Um... Okay. 
Okay, I guess. Oh, fuck. Oh, we almost killed him. Damn it. All right. Here comes the pain. Defense down. Wolfgang's going to fire in the next turn, so let's... Get a heal. Oh shit, Frigg's gonna fire. So we can kill Ludwig. Those four tiles will give me... Oh, God. Those four yellow tiles will give me my healer and Sif, but I don't think I'm gonna survive a hit from... Yeah, I definitely don't want to set off Frigg in this turn because that's just gonna give defense down... For Ludwig or for Wolfgang to hit me with. But that means I can't hit Frigg with any matches, and that's where all of my moves are. Fuck! Ah, shit. I'd hope for a yellow here. Of course not. Oh. Alright, some of us will survive. Just the yellows. Alright, hit and cleanse. This is only protecting Sif and Onyx. I've got no fucking purples here. So, one thing I could do is just try to get some greens off the board to weaken Frigg, but I be better if I don't fire in the same turn as Wolfgang again or it's just going to hurt that much more okay all right so now and Milena is coming too and Milena is going to fucking dispel my ah! Milena is going to dispel and probably jinx which means Frigg is then going to follow up. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. God damn it. Uh, shit. Oh, this gives me some combo potential and none of it. Of course, this board has been pretty... God awful. Gosh, oh, she almost killed herself, but not quite. And fucked. What? How did she charge in that turn? Jesus Christ. Alright, so I'm back. <clears throat> it's just my four flags left. We got spanked this time. Uh, like I mentioned before, we were on a five win streak. We have had some of our most impressive victories. This is now the highest team we've ever faced. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we didn't fare too well. So I'm just going to finish up with my hits here. There's four teams left, uh, which is just for me. So we've got a Freya, a uh, Moreau, and two Hannahs. So... I think I'll go with a Scotty team, green team, red purple team, and something else. So this is pretty dangerous. I think I'll go here for red purple. I think I'll go here for green. Go here for Scotty probably. Um, though that is. That uh, should be okay. All right, so we'll go red purple up here first. Um, okay. That looks good. All right. <clears throat> see how we finish up here. Unfortunately, I botched that one hit. Um, wow. So 
the uh, perfect score is off the table. Oops. Ah, oh, come on. So close. 56. Okay, well, that's no problem. So we'll set off Elizabeth, maybe Odin, just Elizabeth, while well, Black Knight is still active. Get our purples going here. Okay, well that started off pretty well. Okay, <clears throat> we'll go green next here, Limit Broken Aerial. Wow, so even Limit Broken Max Emblemed Aerial still doesn't have the stats of just Max Emblemed uh, Zircon. The new ninja is like 990 something in f mid 1500s. Quite strong. <clears throat> Looks like a very cool uh, healer though. Okay. Next up, we'll go with this. And maybe, just maybe, we can take out Ariel early. No, not bad though. So it looks like um <clears throat> looks like Hannah's gonna go off. Wow. So take a chance at a diamond here. Nope. It's funny, in my head I was thinking 20% chance for a diamond, no, 40% chance for a diamond because there's two spots. The green could come in here, and then I was like, no, if the green comes in there, it's going to cascade, and that's exactly what happened. Okay. So we've got no revive. Probably going to set off this big diamond, so it's this side. That'll be a little bit more, whoops, threatening, hopefully that. Attack down doesn't ruin that attempt. Nope, okay. And then we got a follow up to kill June. And we can beat Francine. So a question for you guys, do you think it's better to kill the attacker first or the healer first when you are left uh, with a decision like that at the end of a, of a battle? Curious what you guys think is better approach. Obviously, if you take out the attacker, you're facing less of a threat. Um, sometimes I just want to kill the healer and uh, not... Maybe it's when I feel comfortable enough that the victory has been secured and I don't want it to take forever okay <clears throat> not sure what I'll go with over there but let's go 
with a Scotty team here. Okay, so we'll go... Maybe I'll do a Ludwig team. I've got an anti-minion team. Hmm, let's see. Do I want to go Bira over here? I mean, uh, Scotty. Nope, I think I'll make a new, <clears throat> new team to end with. So let's go Scotty here. Got only 48 points. And do we have any attack buffers I can copy? No. Okay. Kirill, Kirill. Repost would have been good. Hmm. Final hero. Hmm. Any ailments? Yes. So let's go with this. Alrighty. Well, if we can do it, five for six will still be good. <clears throat> okay. No blues. Lots of purples, wow. Uh, uh not sure what to do here. Guess we gotta try to get these blues down here. <clears throat> oh god, one match short. Okay, well I can do this. I can do this, and if we survive, we'll be in a good spot. All right, here comes Lepus, which could take out my attack buffer. Let's just hit Freya. Yep, fucking hits Kirill. Uh, 304. I don't know how well this is going to work. But we don't have a choice, so. Six stacks, okay. Um, we've got ailment protection, we've got a little healing. Let's try to get some more usable tiles in here. And not die. Maybe we can weaken her enough, okay. There it goes Roostly. Shouldn't be too bad. We've got various forms of dot damage going. Wasn't necessary to make a move that big, but I think it's okay.
give him one last chance. Oh, he's really seeking vengeance on Scotty. All right, one more. And I'm going to go with a... Oh, shit, I already used him. Hmm. Hmm. Wanted to go with a Ludwig team, but I already used uh, Zoidberg on my yellow team, so I'd have to use Grimble, which means I'd have to wait a while for the minions. I think it takes five turns, and that feels a little too risky. So... Um... Maybe I'll go blue instead. Let's see here. Okay. Secondary color. Or should I go with another healer? Yeah, it's probably smarter. Cut Lepiotis, so I don't really need Proteus. Wow. I've turn, turned a big corner here, relying far less on my costume regards throughout my war attacks, where I don't even always use them all. Or I almost never use them all anymore, so I can probably take emblems off of another one. Since uh, those cleric emblems are quite valuable to me. Okay, let's see what happens. <clears> hmm, <throat> this is the worst kind of board where there's just not much you can do. Okay, so I have two matches, one with a variation on it, which is just the purple and the red, and I can make that purple two different ways. Um, I think that's it. Let's bring these blues down, and... Hmm, God. Starving me on that final match. Let's see what this can bring. Fuck. One turn of blind left, and then I can probably kill Moreau. Which feels like a good idea. Hopefully this does not set him off. Okay, and then I think I can ghost... Ah, shit. Well, I can still get the kill, but now we're going to get hit by Drake. Oh, maybe not. Nope, played that one poorly. All right, so I can get my blues. Hmm, lost Athena. All right. Wouldn't be crazy for Lepiota and make the whole thing happen on her own, but still can't get that match. God. All right, take a few more blues into Drake, maybe a purple follow up. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hopefully this kills. Okay. A few other points. Well, four for six. Not too great. That's the way it goes. Let me know if you thought these boards were more salvageable than I um, managed to play them. Kind of felt like the odds were against me this time. But the war was lost anyways, so that's the perfect time to trip a little bit when it doesn't really matter. So we got beat by 300-ish points. Take a quick look at defense. Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe as well. Uh, next goal, 10,000 subscribers. We're not too far off. Okay, so the first one was a one-shot, and I think that was the only one-shot. So there's one, two... One, two. One, two. And that's it. So, pretty good. Um, here's what I went with again. Uh, Liz, I think, is the best red tank. Couple minion punishers on the left. Not great. In theory, because Grimble could go right before Scotty, clear all the minions, and then she doesn't have any minions to land stacks. But I think it's, with both of them being average, sp average speed, pretty unlikely that they fire in the same turn. Um, so yeah, it was more that I wanted one of them to go off for sure, because that could be a big help. Um, so yeah, that's that. Got beat this time. It happens. Uh, we definitely are way above 50% for our win rate, so still doing good. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.